Saturday night, and we're ready to look back at all the first half action. For the Dallas Mavericks, they have the lead against the Pacers out in Indiana. They're trying to close in on the eighth best record in the conference. A win here, we give it to them. On the Pacers' side of things, they manage to hang around. High speed, high energy. Every time they get the ball, they're off and running. A sensational first half for Jeremy Lamb. He's got 13 points and also collected four rebounds. And a look now to the games that have yet to tip off. It'll be the Magic out at Amway Center against the Cavaliers. That'll be some good Eastern Conference play out there. 8 p.m. Eastern, that one gets started. Looking at action around the NBA. Out at Energy Solutions Arena, the Jazz win a close game against Phoenix. About midway through the third out there. Thanks so much for joining us. Now let's get back out to the circus in the Sprint Halftime Report. Presented by Sprint. Now both sides have assessed what they need to do over the break in halftime. We'll see now if one can pull out away here in the third. Really an incredible game from Hardaway. And what was most impressive was that his decision-making and, and shot-taking was very disciplined He's and efficient. Really an excellent half. Yeah, that's exactly right. Whether it's been from mid-range or in tight, he's taking only what the defense has given him, and he's not trying to do too much. I love the flow and rhythm he's playing with here. That free throw, no good. Good on the second free throw. Pacers trail by six. Here's who Rick Carlisle starting the second half with. There's the feed to Warren. From outside, off the mark. Dallas has gone six of 11 when they're taking the three-point shot tonight. Very respectable. Keep that bucket in in no time at all. Hardaway has got 22. And uh, Indiana shooting reasonably well, 45%. That's to Warren. Basket, he was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. I'll tell you what I love about him. His ability to finish, even while absorbing contact, he is so strong. Even with defenders hanging all over him, he continues to finish at the basket. And something else he does is he's great off the dribble. He can take it to the rack or pull up. So as a defender, you don't know how to play him. The Pacers have knocked down five of their nine attempts at the strike tonight. Mavericks leading by five. Pass to Hardaway. It's Richardson on the wing. Five to shoot. Here's Parzenas. The finger roll finish at the bucket. Seven points in the game. Good job there, recognizing the mismatch and then just going straight up with the shot. He's got a major height advantage. Kicks it to Warren. And it's off from three-point range. And so it's Dallas with it. They led by as many as 18 points. Outside Hardaway. Puts up a three. Tries to keep it alive. It's going to be out of bounds. The Pacers will take it. With the break in the action, here is the 2K leaderboard to show us the league's best shooting teams last season. Second, the Pacers. Hard to shoot the ball any better than they did. I mean, they weren't the best in the league, but they were pretty close. Lever. Smooth as silk on the finger roll. Lever's got eight points. You gotta love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of grind it out physical game. Yeah, that was your game, Clark. Pound it inside, <laughs> take the ball right to the defense. That's, that's what I tried to do, man. I knew my limitations. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Pacers trail by five. This is it to Warren. Out of bounds, Dallas will take possession. How about a look at the Pacers and where they ranked in the NBA last season? Second in field goal percentage. Fifth in fewest turnovers per game. And they were in the top ten in assists. A lot of good passers on this team and guys that are willing to make the extra pass as well. 
I think what jumped out to me was the shooting more than anything, Clark, because this is a team in the top five in field goal percentage. And they were very unselfish. They were efficient offensively, constantly looking for every good shot available. Time time call here in Indiana decides to talk it over. He's forcing shots offensively, hurting his team in the process. He needs to trust his teammates more. Rocket goes up high for the two-handed dunk. That's amazing play down in the big boy area, powering that thing down on a much taller defender. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Richardson with it. The feather touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. And the Mavericks lead by five. Gotta love the finger roll up and over the defense. He feeds it to Turner. Passes it to Warren. Releases. And again, it's Indiana converted. Mavericks leading by three. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. Oh, that's a surprising miss right there. He usually feasts on those wide open opportunities. To tie. No luck. Now Dallas takes it the other way. He had a couple in the first, but so far he's been unable to get uncorked here. The dish to Richardson. Oh, yeah, he had not established position. You know, I prefer the ref to whistle with a clock when in doubt. I thought that was a good call there. And the Mavericks nice. making a change here. Claver has checked in. Shoots the three. Dallas, no good that time either. Pacers trail by three. He dishes it to Warren. Mavericks making a switch here. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. Back to Turner. Got a piece of it. Fast break. Here they come. Here's Dodger. Throws down off the coast-to-coast -coast drive. Boy, I love it. Active hands on the steel, active feet on the fast break. And Clark Power on the dunk. And, and guys, this is just too close of a game to be giving the ball up like that and then failing to get back in transition. Parzegas, Turner covering. Here's Parzegas, and he goes in for the dunk. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for Dallas. Contested shots and block shots. They're bread and butter defensively. They're giving up no easy looks. And another area where they've done a great job tonight is forcing the issue defensively and, and getting some steals. Number 11, Turner. He passes to Warren. Nailed from a three-point line. Warren's got eight points in the quarter. Yeah, that's his first three and a half. There may be more in score. Side Hardaway. He kicks it to Claver. Back to Hardaway. Six on the shot clock. With the teardrop. Pacers with the rebound. Here's Warren. Flushes it down. Stupendous rush to the rim and a mighty slam on the end of it. But through the teeth of some pretty soft D. I can't help but say that. Well, let's see how that impacts things here. Because those kinds of plays sometimes can be game changers on both sides. There's the pass to Richardson. Here's Kalchich. Gets an open look and hits. He's got 10. He shot the ball exceptionally well as they've built this lead for themselves here. Lever, Richardson cover. Lays out. And that'll be Indiana as it goes out of bounds. Pacers retain possession. And the Mavericks making a change here. getting in the shooter's face and then getting back to the boards to grab the rebound. And it's blocked. He 
It's rebounded by Claver. Dallas leading by four. Let's it go from 11. Here's Dodger. And that one goes in as he is fouled. It'll be three points if he converts at the line. That makes it 10 of their last 12 points coming from inside the painted area. Yep, that's something that the defense has to put a stop to. Maybe a defensive adjustment is necessary here. And the Mavericks making a change here. The Mavericks have gone 7 of 9 from the free throw line tonight. And the free throw, no good. Kevin, it's disheartening to see them keep missing opportunities to extend the lead at the line. I mean, when you have a chance to put a team away from the line, you want to take advantage of that. You don't want to give them a chance to come back on it. The Pacers have shot 60% from the line, 6 of 10. And the first one drops. The Pacers making a switch here. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. The Mavericks have gotten half their shots to drop in the second half up to this point, going 7 of 14. Smith outside. They get it back. Dallas moving it around. Smith on the way. Drills it from outside. Smith's got his second basket of the night. Well, the last five scores they've allowed have all come off of offensive rebounds, so they've got to get to work here. They sure do, Steve. I don't know if they're out of gas or just thinking somebody else is going to grab the board, but they need to find a way to corral some defensive rebounds out there. Banked in off the glass. He's got 14. And his shots are dropping right now. This quarter has been very kind to him. And Holiday kicks to Warren. Shoots from 12. Rebounded by Hardaway. Hardaway has got five rebounds tonight. Smith, uncovered. Feeds it to Claver. Second shot opportunity. And it's good on the way in. And it's a nine-point Maverick lead. That's right where they wanted to go with the ball on that possession. It's really nice to run that time. That was simply a defensive breakdown there, Kevin. He was all alone for that shot. It was a warm-up jumper. The feed now to Smith. Pass to Hardaway. Here's the three. It's rebounded by Warren. Warren's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. The three. No good. Here's Doncic. And it would have counted had it fallen, but it's offline. The boys got his punches as we wrap up the third. Next Tuesday, December 15th, the Boston Celtics take on Bradley Beal of the Washington Wizards. Welcome you back. Glad to have you with us as more basketball is on the way. During the break, the players getting refueled with Gatorade. They're looking amped up and ready to get going once again. They've got Turner. Nick Dermott is out there with Jeremy Lamb. And it's Holiday in at the three, the small four. So that's the group out there for Indiana. It's to Hardaway. And he caps off the fast break with a monster slam. Yes, sir. Oh, no, he may have gotten injured right there. He's in a lot of pain. Yeah, and as many times as you see it, Clark, you, you never like to see a player have to come out of the game with an injury, especially when it's your own teammate. But the other guys just have to step up in the meantime to make up for his absence. Next guy up is what we say. Mavericks making the switch here. Claver has checked in. So it's the Mavericks now. They led by as many as 18 points. Kicks it to Richardson. Dishes it to Hardaway for three, and that is good. Hardaway has got five points in the quarter. You know what, guys? He can really light it up from the perimeter at times. Pass to McDermott. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one, drawing the whistle.
whistle and a lot of contact there. Yeah, he got whacked. Shouldn't be much debate on that one. Yeah, that was as straightforward as it gets, guys. The first free throw is good. Oh, a perfect half at the free throw line for him. That'll help their comeback effort for real. Yeah, that's keeping them close. Uh, it's going to take a full effort here in the second half, but uh, they've got to continue to knock down these free throws. That's a familiar sight. He hardly ever wastes his chances at the line. Cashes in regularly. Hard away, no good. Pacers trail by nine. Out to Turner. He feeds it to Lamb. Perfect on the shot. Swishes it through. Well, you know, he has shot the ball well, but it has not been contagious. I mean, his teammates, they haven't had the same groove, and that's why we're looking at this result so far. Now the dish to Richardson. The finger roll finish at the bucket. And the Mavericks lead by nine. Took advantage of some shoddy defense there. They've got to at least get a finger on it. And, yeah, another turnover, and we've seen this a lot today. I mean, this team has not brought it. No focus. No energy. That's why they're getting blown out. The Pacers making a switch here. Warren's checked in. Claver the pass to Powell. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Chance here now for a three-point play. Well, he earned that one. Took the hit and still found a way to knock it down. Yeah, fantastic body control. And the will to get it done. You like that focus. Pacers trail by 12. He dishes it to Lamp. Can't get it to go. And it's Dallas the other way. Fast break, Dallas. Here's Doncic. Great tee that time from Jeremy Lamb. Pacers have gone one of four since the end of the third quarter. And he gets to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. He's one of the best in the league at that. Even with just a tiny sliver. He always seems to find a way to get it up and in. And the Mavericks making a change here. Mavericks leading by nine. Hit his leg. And the ref saying he kicked it. Yes. Smooth as silk on the finger roll. What a big time mismatch it's been in the post. Where's the defensive adjustment? They're getting housed down there. <laughs> they sure are. You got to come up with something. A double team, maybe a substitution. This is getting ridiculous. Major League big boy throwdown right there. And it gives a tight grip on that rim after the finish. And maybe that'll give this team a little bit of their edge back. Mavericks have gone five of seven from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Strong work at that end of the floor. He kicks it to Richardson. Let's it fly. And counting two points with a chance for one more at the free throw line. Exceptional play to take the bump and still get it up and down. Yeah, way to stay with it. And look to finish the play right there. At the line for the Mavericks. Richardson. That's good from Richardson. Pacers trail by 12. The pass to Lamb. Feeds it to Warren. Indiana moving it around. Lamb up top. Richardson cover. No good from Lamb. The Mavericks have gone six of eight from the field in the fourth so far. It's been a great start to this final quarter for them. He's flipped the script here in this half, shooting a much higher percentage from the field. There's the three. It's hauled in by Richardson. Richardson's got seven rebounds in the game. With the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in control of this game. Yeah, they have not let their guard down one bit in the paint. Plays it up and in off the pretty assist. Richardson's got 11 points here in just the second half. And Lamb kicks to Warren. Offensive struggles continue missing again. Mavericks leading by 16. There's the lob to the hoop. Well, as they continue to dominate, you wonder just how much higher this lead might get.
I think it really could get out of hand, and you can credit their defense just as much as their offense for that. The Pacers have gotten only three of their nine field goal attempts to go down since the end of the third. Pretty cold down the stretch. Three-pointer. Offensive rebound, Pacers. Number 11. Lays it up and backs it in. Well, something special about him, guys, is just how good he is at winning the so-called second shot game, going hard to the offensive glass, salvaging points with his putbacks. And, Steve, you know, he's also got the full arsenal of moves in the post. I mean, you can't believe how many tricks this guy has up his sleeves. He's full of them. There's a screen. By the way, no good. Pacers trail by 16. Hardaway with the steal. Here's Tarzanius. Can't hit. You know, even though he's bite-sized compared to the big man on the floor, he's done some really tall work on the board. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. Dallas making a switch here. One shot. That's good from Warren. Dallas leading by 13. Richardson dishes to Hardaway. Battles through traffic and lays it in. Hardaway has got seven points for the quarter. And they're beginning to fall apart a little bit defensively, especially inside. Well, that's four straight buckets now at the rim. Doris Burke has some information for us, Doris. Kevin, the head coach for the Pacers had some instructions for his guys during that break. He's not pleased with the careless turnovers offensively, saying, listen, you've got to get shots. It's as simple as that. We have to play smart and value the basketball. Kevin did it sink in. He passes it to Richardson from downtown. Pacers with the rebound. to turn it. That's his fourth foul. I'm sure he recognizes the situation because number five will put him in a rough, tough spot. Boy, he is just a scoring machine. He makes it look so easy. Shooting for Indiana. Shooting for Indiana. Leading by 10. There's 154 left to play here in the fourth. Too long in the paint, and he's hit with a three second violation. And the technical free throw is good. Double by Warren. Here's Richardson, guarded close. Shot clock at five. Dallas needs to get off a shot. Let's go. It's rebounded by Warren. Warren's got six rebounds now in the game. And the lead is down inside. Single digits. Warren's got five points in the quarter. They're looking significantly better now. Still a long way to go to get all the way back into this. Well, at least the effort's there now. He had been sorely lacking early. When he's wide open like that, he'll rarely miss those. Number 11. Carries it from three point lead. And one points in the game. And he's been a unquestioned leader offensively this quarter. Seven left to play in the final quarter. Here's Dodger. Well, it's going to be tough for them, but you have to continue to compete. It's not over. Just play, see what happens. Yep, you can't afford empty possessions. And there's the feed to Warren. Unloads from nine. The shot no good. Great D that time from Hardaway. Dallas has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Tipped. One-on-one -on -one here. Kicks it to Warren. 
Seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And so they foul intentionally. That's the first, and that puts them up by five. And he is unable to get the second one. And it's Indiana's ball. They're on a 17-4 run right now. From outside the arc. Cummings! And he has put them within two points. Huge points. That's beyond huge, Steve. I mean, they needed that bucket. Desperate. And there's the intention of foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. Smart foul there. He doesn't try to extend the game. They're yeah, still close, but they're fighting that clock as much as the score right now. So he gets them both, and it's a four-point goal game. And you can wrap this one up. Great job to stay cool with the line and polish it off. Pacers fans, get loud and make some noise for battles in the goal. Number 11. It's in. That's how to orchestrate for your team. Terrific pass. Here's Richardson. And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. Richardson. Free throw is good, and that makes it a three point lead. And the second free throw, no good, a tough break there. And the Pacers call time here. They're trailing by three. Six seconds left in the fourth quarter. What do you think, guys? Well, they've got two options here. They can go for the three and the tie, or the quick two and the top. I like the idea of going for the quick two. Take it to the rim, and uh, that wouldn't be a bad way to, to approach this situation. So it's a narrow victory for the Mavericks, pulling out the W. It was tight, but they managed to come up with the win. You know, nobody wants to lose a close game, but it's much better to win those tight games. Well,